In this problem, we are given two equations and asked to graph them using slope-intercept form and then determine if they are parallel or perpendicular. In order to put this in slope-intercept form, I do have to solve both of these for y. So the very first one is written in black ink. I have x minus 2y is equal to 2. What I'm going to start doing is go ahead and subtract x from both sides. So I'm going to have a minus 2y or negative 2y is equal to, and I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in slope-intercept form. Negative x will come first, and then plus a positive 2. The next thing I'm going to do is divide each side by negative 2 to get y all by itself. Remember when you divide the right side by negative 2, everything has to be divided by that negative 2. So my slope-intercept form for the first equation will be y is equal to negative x divided by negative 2 will just be a positive 1x over 2. Oh, two. So, or you can say 1 half x. And then positive 2 divided by negative 2 is a negative 1. For the next equation, I have 2x minus 4y is equal to 3. Again, I'm going to go ahead and put this in slope-intercept form before we start to graph. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So I have minus 4y is equal to, again, going to go ahead and put this in slope-intercept form, minus 2x plus 3. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 4, both the left side and everything on the right side, so that I have y is equal to negative 2 divided by negative 4 is a positive 1 over 2, or 1 half, x, and then minus 3 fourths. Okay, now I'm ready to go in and start graphing these. The first one, y is equal to 1 half x minus 1. My y-intercept is negative 1. And my rise over run, or my slope, is rise 1, run 2. So up 1 to the right 2. And I'm just going to show that pattern for a few points. Up 1, rise 2. I'm also going to show a few points on the left-hand side of the y-intercept. So I'm going to go down 1 to the left 2 to continue that line. Okay, and then using a straight edge as possible. For my next problem, I have a y-intercept of negative 3 fourths and then a slope of rise 1, run 2. So up 1, run 2. And these are going to be very close just because the y-intercepts are also very close. Rise 1, run 2. And I don't even really need to show any more points because if I connect these, they are super close in nature, but you can tell that these are parallel lines. Another way you can tell they're parallel is they have the exact same slope. Their slope is both one half, okay? 